Hello friends. So today's question. In the figure shown, the bigger block A has a mass of 40 kg and the upper block B is of 8 kg. The coefficient of friction between all the surface contact are 0.2 as static and 0.15 sliding. Find the acceleration of masses when set free. So this is the figure and this is at an angle both blocks A and B are at an incline which is making an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal okay so first of all let's find out the constraint relationship of the acceleration between a and b okay you can see constraint relation between mass A and mass B okay so we assume that mass A moves in the downward direction okay and as a result of which mass b will be moving in upward direction okay rather we can say along the incline plane okay. we say and a moves by suppose it moves by x a and b moves by x b mass A moves through X A mass B moves through X B okay. therefore we can say that they are the total slack that will be produced with the movement of a will be 2xa okay. so you can say that let us call this as 1 2 and 3 okay. so you can say that slack Reduced in one and three will be equal to two x a and slack introduced in sorry not one and three but one and two okay. and slack introduced in three will be equal to as there is a relative motion between b and a okay so slack in three will be also because of the relative motion between x a and x b okay so this will be coming as x b minus x a okay this happens because of the relative motion between the block mass a as well as mass b so therefore we can say that total slack is ideally is constant okay so total slack total slack will be equal to 2xa plus xb minus of xa and that will be nothing but constant So we can write this as this will be coming as x a plus x b is equal to constant. And if we double differentiate this equation, let us this equation fall as one. Okay. So differentiating equation one twice. 
we get we get expression of a plus expression of b is equal to zero so from here we can say that a is equal to expression of b okay. so it means okay now we are going to uh, you can say draw the free body diagram for individual blocks first of all for a sorry for b then we are going to draw it for a and write the various equations okay so we can say for block b so we have a block b which is at a this is b okay and we have mb g in the downward direction and let us suppose the normal is given as nb and okay and we have this angle is theta which we can put later on as 30 degree so we can divide this as mb cos of theta and this we are going to get as mb g sine of theta and we are going to have retention t in the upward direction now the important part is in which direction the friction will be acting okay so for that we can explain it in this way so we have a block b and we have a block a and block a is moving in the downward direction in this direction so it will try to force that block b also move in the downward direction with the help of friction and let us call that fr2 so equal and opposite will be acting in here also that will be fr2 and there is friction between you can say the inclined plane and block a which will be acting in upward direction that will call that as fr1 so this is only with respect to the frictions there will be other forces like you can say tension and acting on it which we can describe later on okay so from here we can say that there will be friction fr2 which will be acting in downward direction okay so we can find out our value of fr2 we can say fr2 will be equal to coefficient of friction mu and normal nb and our normal mb is nb is equal to M, mbg cos of theta so we can write this as mu mbg cos of theta so this is our fr2 so we can write the equation now so let us say this is taken as x and this is taken as y so we have the equation for block b as minus t plus fr2 plus mbg sine of theta and we can say this is equal to M B A B. Okay. So we put value of F R two. So we get equation as minus T plus mu M B G cos of theta plus M B G sine of theta is equal to M B into A B. And we already know that a b is equal to minus of a so you put this value the equation so we get this equation as t rather minus t 
plus mu mb g cos of theta plus mbg sine of theta is equal to minus of mb multiplied by acceleration of a. From here we can find out value of tension t. So we can say t is equal to umbg cos of theta plus mbg sine of theta plus mb a multiply by a that is equation number one and now we consider for block b a for block a and if we draw its free body diagram so we have this block a okay there will be tension t in the upward direction and we are going to have mg in the downward direction and this angle is theta so we have this mg cos of theta and here will be mg sine of theta there will be friction upper direction which is fr1 and there is also fr2 and there will be normal let us call that n a and here n a will be equal to summation of both okay so we can say that n a will be equal to m a plus m b g cos of theta so we can find out our fr2 sorry fr1 so we can say fr1 is equal to mu into n a well if n a we already know so fr1 is equal to mu into m a plus m b g cos of theta once again this is our x and this is our y positive directions okay so we can write the equation that will be coming as minus t minus fr1 minus fr2 and that will be equal to plus we have m a g sine of theta is equal to m a into a and in this equation we substitute the value of t okay so input value of t so you can say using equation one we get So if we only put a value of t, this will be minus, and we have mu m b g cos of theta plus m b g sine of theta plus m b a, and we get we put my value of f r one, but f r one is mu m a plus m b g cos of theta then we put value of our f r 2 minus f r 2 is mu m b g cos of theta and plus m a g sine of theta is equal to m a into a we open the bracket so this will be coming as minus mu m b g cos of theta minus m b 
g sin of theta minus mb a and we upper open the lower one and we get this as mu m a g cos of theta minus mu m b g cos of theta and we get last one minus mu m b g cos of theta plus m a g sin of theta a is equal to m a into a now we combine the like terms okay so you can see we have one two and three so these are same so we can write this as minus three mu m b g cos of theta and we have left with yeah so now we are left with this is m a g sine of theta and this m b sine of theta we combine them also so we can write plus taking g sine of theta is common we get this as m a minus m b and last term is our minus mu m a g cos of theta this will become equal to the action a taking common this is m a plus m b okay next we are simply going to put the values okay so from here we can say our acceleration of a will be equal to minus 3 mu m b g cos of theta plus g sine of theta m a minus m b minus mu m a g sine of theta and divided by m a plus m b now we are going to substitute the value So if we put the value, we get acceleration of A as minus 3, mu is 0.15 and mb is 8 and g is 9.8 and angle theta is 30, so this will be the cos of 30, get plus 9.8 and we have g sine of 30 40 minus 8 and last term is minus mu that is 0 0.15 into 40 kg into 9.8 and that will multiply the cos of 30 divided by Forty plus eight. So we can see that this will be equal to. We have this forty-eight, and this will be coming as equal to minus. You can say thirty-five point two eight cos of thirty plus. This will be. 313.6 sine of 30 minus 58.8 cos of 30 and we can combine these two terms this will be coming as minus 94.08 cos of 30 is given as 0 0.866 plus 313.6 cos of sine of 30 is 0.5 and divided by 48 
and you can see this will be coming as equal to 75.33 divided by 48 okay and this will be coming as approximately 1.56 we can say that the acceleration of a is equal to 1.56 meter per second square and acceleration of b will be equal to minus 1.56 meter per second square So this completes the question. Thank you.